So we're, we're back again. This time we want to talk about the earlier stages of the, the processing here at Volcan Azul. Behind us, we have their depulping system. Um, what kind of uh, processes are you guys mainly doing at the, uh, at the farm? We have four main processes here. So we have the natural, where we dry the coffee with all the pulp and the skin. Then we have our, our red honey, which is our full honey. So we only depulp it and then we, we dry it with all, with all the mosellage. Ah, of course, you take it, okay. Yeah. Then we have the yellow honey, which we wash half of the honey of the, of the, of the bean. And then we have the fully washed. Mm. What, what would you say in terms of uh, cups, cup quality, if we take the varietal and we, we process that in those kind of four different ways, what would you say is the main kind of character of each processing method? So for um, natural, of course, we're looking for that fruitiness to, to have to have some. Uh, it will have the, the more uh, honey we leave in, in the bean, uh, the more fermentation we're going to have in, for the, for that process. So the, the, both ends are the naturals. We we ha will have more fruitiness. We're also looking to have a, a, a clean natural uh, process. So no, not not an over fermented flavor. And we also have the, the and the, to the other end, we have the fully washed. Well, well you will have only the attributes of that say, variety that comes from the field. Mm -hmm. So those are, are both ends. And in the, in the, in the, in the midway, we'll have the yellow honeys where we have a little bit more fermentation because we dry it with more uh, mosellage and the red honey even more. So we, we will have that sweetness of the, of the mosellage in, in, in the flavors of our of our coffee, but uh, mainly, so in, in summary, fully washed, we will have only the attributes that come from the from the field, and in the in the other processes, we will have some of the process in the in the flavors. Yeah, sure, it's a mix. And, and one of the the cool things here during the week when we've been kind of hanging out here at Volcano Sul is that we've been also kind of talking about what kind of process goes with certain uh, lot sizes and certain varietals as well. And it's really interesting to be able to kind of put together your own kind of coffee in that sense, right? I mean, as, as you guys know, we tend to go for a lot of washed coffees as, as clean as possible. Uh, even though the even the naturals here at this farm is actually super clean as well, which is which is really impressive. We um, cut the geisha yesterday, uh, but that was, a, that was a red honey, right? Was, that was a red honey. Was a red honey. Which is still extremely clean, but you get this kind of sweetness from the, uh, from the process. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about what we have uh, behind us here. Uh, we're gonna give you guys some better footage of it as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have the depulper. Um, tell us how it works. Okay, so well, first I will tell you uh, the beginning of the process. So the, the most important part is sorting the right cherries from the, from, from the field. Then we bring them here, we separate floaters. Then we drain the water because the water is only used for the transport of, of, of the cherries. Yep. Then we recirculate and that's why we only use a one cubic meter of water each day. So it's well, environmental which is, friendly. Uh, yeah, exactly, which is pretty amazing. I mean, for, for those of you that don't know, that is a very small amount of water for, for someone that is doing these kind of processes. And after that, we take it to the depulper. And with the depulper, this one, we have the advantage that we can adjust the amount of pressure we're giving to the cherries. So we will only depulp the very ripened ones. And then we separate uh, the, the ones that were not ripe enough because they are harder. And so we can separate it in a, in a second quality. And then we have to make a decision which process are we going to give to, uh, to those beans. So we use this washing machine just to take out uh, the amount of, of mosillage we want. So for a fully wash, we will give more pressure to this machine mm. to wash more of that mosillage. And for a full honey, we want to use this machine, so we will go directly to our drying patios, or the or the or the raised beds. beds. Ah, sure. Uh, on the on the subject of which we kind of talked about before as well, we obviously when you when you depulp coffee, you have a, quite a lot of pulp over in that sense. And what are you guys doing here at the farm with the the pulp that becomes over after the the processing? Well, we, that will be an, an excellent organic fertilizer. Mm. So we take it, we treat it with uh, limestone and also with some bacteria to decompose it. And after, the, uh, after uh, a few months, we take it to the field and throw it back to, to the plants where it came from. And so it will be an organic fertilizer, a great organic fertilizer. Yeah. 
Amazing, super cool. That was uh, that was it about the depoping. We're gonna move ahead and we're gonna do some parts about the uh, the drying as well. Thank you.